Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, in the end, inshallah, we reach the night that we was looking for. The night of Latul Qadr. Inshallah, tonight, 27. Why people focus on 27? Everybody. Right? The righteous people, the scholars, the regular people. The reason because there is there is a word from one of the Sahaba, prophet companion, who very close to the prophet. And Umar used to ask him to lead the prayer because his voice is close to the voice of, of Muhammad sallallahu His name was Ubay bin Kaab. One day he said, he swear, Wallahi, Wallahi, by Allah, it's on the 27th of Ramadan. Light al Qadr, always on the 27th of Ramadan. Yeah? We saw it. We didn't know it is coincident. The word Laylatul Qadr in that surah, Surah Al Qadr, repeated three times. And the word Laylatul Qadr is contained nine letters, nine huruf. Right? Three times. Nine times three, how much? How many? Twenty-seven. And also, if you count from the first ayah, in Zalnahu until Salamun Hia, Salam peace Hia. The word Hia refer to Ratul Qadar. Is twenty-seven words. Twenty-seven words. So therefore, why, you know, people believe strongly, you know, that Latul Qadr mostly happened on 27th of Ramadan. So therefore, you know, please take advantage. Right? Number one, what we, have, what we have to do, you know, of course, try to do, pray, Qiyamul Layl. After Isha, you pray Isha, pray Sunnah. Then you join the Taraweeh. Right? You can be alone or with the people. Right? Then you take break, for example, and then at night, after midnight, right, you pray again. That's number one. Number two, read a lot of Quran. Continue if you're reading the, the Quran regularly. Read a lot. Number three, Make love at dhikr. At least it's a astaghfirullah hundred times. La ilaha illallah wa hadawu la sharika lah until the end. Hundred times. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Hundred times. Right? And then make dua. Right? This dua that Rasulullah asked us to read it a lot. Allahumma inna kafun. To him, bun afa fa fa But something very important, don't forget. On that night, your heart had to be salam, in peace. Peace with Allah, peace with your parent, with everybody. So why Allah SWT use the word salam, salam? Look like Allah SWT look like one to tell us, be careful. If you're not in salam on that night, you know, if when you pray, you make dua, you will not get the night of power. So therefore, why he said in the, in the hadith said, on that night, the angel will come down. Yeah? And then the angel will shake people's hand and some, some ulama said, will put his hand like this. And suddenly you feel something. You feel in peace, right? But then, when the Fajr came, when the Fajr arrived, the Jibril will call, depart, depart, we have to leave. And all those angels, 
will ask him, what Allah going to do with those people that we shook their hand or we put our hand on their chest? Jibreel said, Allah will look at them. When Allah look at them, that means he will, Allah will set him free or set her free from hellfire. Allah. So when you get the net of power, number one, it kun min nar You become free from hellfire, Allah. Number two, Allah is going to forgive you. Number three, of course, Allah is going to put in Jannah. Except for people. This in the Hadith. Number one, kun li waide. The one who he, the one who did not have peace with his parent. Be careful. Call your parent if they're still alive. Ask for forgiveness. If they die, make dua for them a lot on that night. Number two, mud bin khamar, the one who addicted with the alcohol. Number three, al mushahin, table maker. The one who likes to put the Muslim fighting. Right? Send the email or WhatsApp. Make people headache. And number four, Qawate Rahim. The one who cut off tie of relationship with his relative, his brother, sister. Right? So be don't be one of them. Right? So don't forget, take opportunity, especially from Isha to Fajr, and especially before Fajr, don't stop making dua. Repeat again, repeat again. Allahumma inna ka'afuun kareemun jawadun tuhibbul affa fa'afana. Right? And also, always end your dua by saying, Rabbana taqabbal minna. Inna ka anta sami'ul alim. Ya Allah, please accept from us. Right? Atub alayna. Allah, please accept our repentance. Inna ka anta tawabur rahim. Right? So inshallah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are, we'll be among those who gain the night of power. Batul Qadr. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته